Today, we have a very nice exponential equation. e to the x is equal to the natural log of x. We need to solve for x. First of all, let me give you all a shocker. Let us plot e to the x on a graph. Now, let us plot the natural log of x on the same graph. Oh, look! These two graphs never meet each other. This means we do not have any solution for x. But wait! I wouldn't be making a video if that would have been the case. We do have a solution for x, but not in the real world. We will have to jump to the imaginary world. Let us see how. Using the logarithm rule, we know that if the log of a with b equals c, then we can also write a as b raised to the power c, right? So look here. We have a as x here. Then the base b is e, and c is e to the x. So we get x equals e to the e to the x. Noise. Now look here. We can write this x as this one, or e to the e to the x, can't we? So we get this. Now we can write this x as this big one or this, right? So we can see an infinite pattern here. But now what can we do? Just look at this part. This thing is equal to e to the e to the e, and so on till infinity, and then we have the x, and thus we can call it x, right? Therefore, the equation reduces to e to the x equals x. Wow! Now what's next? Now let us plot x on the same graph. You can again see that these two graphs never meet each other, which we have already seen. So what to do now? Our savior for this problem will be a function called the Lambert W function. Now suppose we have a function of the form a times e to the power of a. And this a can be any expression, it doesn't matter what we write here. For example, we can write 3 times e to the power 3. And now, if we apply a w function, which is called Lambert w function on this expression, we get the result as a itself. So if we apply this w function here, the result will be, yeah, you guessed it right, it will be 3. Amazing. So now, let us try to use this w function here. Divide by e to the x on both sides. So we get x times this will be e to the minus x, and this equals 1. Look, this is minus x, so we need to make this one also minus x. Put a minus sign on both sides to get this. Now apply w function on both sides to get this. Compare it with this one. So this will become minus x, and this will be w of minus 1. So x equals minus of w of minus 1. Let us ask Wolfram Alpha for the value of minus of w of minus 1. This is equal to this complex number, which is our solution. So, goo!